Could this be the best mouse for the iPad Pro? Keep watching. Hey there, I'm Mark Brown with Editor's Keys and welcome to the channel. Now, if you're a creator of any kind or if you own an iPad Pro, definitely consider subscribing to the channel because we have a ton of videos all about the iPad Pro and how to create and video edit all on that device. Now, in the past, I would have always said the iPad Pro is a good device, but for me as a creator, it could never really replace my MacBook Pro. Well, that was until Apple released iOS 13 and they've made some minor changes which have made a really big difference so they've added uh, a files app they've added support for external hard drives and they've improved the multitasking support but one area I really wanted which they now have is the ability to use a mouse with your iPad now this is a little bit hidden in the system settings so I'll show you how you can add a mouse and I want to run through why I think this Logitech uh, mouse could be the best mouse for your iPad Pro so this is the Logitech Pebble M350, and I think it's possibly currently the best mouse for the iPad Pro. So number one, most people will use the iPad as a second device, so you don't wanna be spending hundreds of dollars on another mouse. This one is just $19.99. Two, it's very thin and light, so it can easily slip into any bag without adding any bulk. Number three, it's Bluetooth and pairs instantly with an iPad. Number four, it has two buttons and a working scroll wheel. And on some mice I've tested, it doesn't always have the best scroll wheel. And this one works pretty nice and smooth. So that's a quick look at the mouse, but how do you actually pair it and add it to your iPad Pro? It's slightly more complicated than just pairing a normal mouse to your Mac or PC. So I'll quickly jump in now and show you how you can do that. Okay, so to set up the mouse, simply go to settings, and then what I've already done is turn the mouse on and then simply paired it. So you'd just see the Logitech Pebble comes up here. I've connected that, but you do need to do an extra couple of steps. So next, if you go down to accessibility, click that, and then go to physical and motor, go to touch, and then go to assistive touch, and then turn that on. And what you'll notice is, once you've paired the mouse, you now have a mouse pointer. Now it's a little bit different looking to a normal mouse pointer because it, at the moment, it is an assistive touch feature. But what's great about this is you do have the ability to actually change custom actions. Um, you can change the mouse key, so if you want, um, you can have uh, delays change, you can change the speed of your mouse, which is great. You can change the uh, buttons of the mouse, what they will actually do. I have the single tap to open a menu, uh, double tap, I don't have anything in long press, I have nothing as well. So you can actually change the configurations of the buttons on here. So I have the left button as just the usual click button, and then I have the right button set to multitask. So you can simply double tap that, and then you've got your multitasking done there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you can obviously change the tracking speed of the mouse. So it works very similar to a mouse on your Mac or PC. So if we go to, let's go to uh, Safari, you can see here, that the scrolling works really, really well. You can either do it one of two ways. You can click and drag like your finger would if it was on the screen of the iPad, or you can use the track, uh, sc a tracking scroll wheel here, which works really, really smooth. I found in some other mouses that I've tested, this can be really janky, really glitchy, whereas the Logitech one works perfectly well. So the main thing I like about this mouse is that it's super cheap. At $19.99, you can just throw it in your bag and you don't really have to worry about it. But actually for that price, it's actually very, very good quality. I haven't tested a mouse this cheap with this kind of build quality. And one thing I like about it uh, for taking it on the go is that if I was doing any kind of video editing in the past, I would actually have to take my MacBook Pro. But actually, with a little keyboard cover for LumaFusion, you can whack that on uh, and then use the mouse and you feel like you've got a complete mobile editing station on the go. Now, when we open it up, you'll also see that there's actually a 2.4 gigahertz dongle inside the mouse, and that's great if you wanna use the mouse with another Mac or PC device. Uh, there's also uh, a battery in there, you'll see, and I can hear some of you already saying, oh no, there's a battery, I don't wanna be replacing that every two minutes. Well, actually, the battery life on here is 18 months, which I think is pretty cool. With just one AA battery, you're not gonna be replacing this all the time, and that's good. It means you don't need to carry around loads of cables and things as well in your bag, especially if this is gonna be your travel device. 
So there we go, that's a look at the Logitech Pebble mouse. I think it's really good, but let me know in the comments section below. What do you think of this device? And are you thinking of getting one? If you wanna check it out, I'll put a full link in the description below. And remember, if you wanna see more tutorials on video editing, creation, all that kind of stuff for your iPad Pro, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.